Hi everybody, welcome back. We have four down, four to go. Just beat Gemini Man, so next will be Needle Man. He did a nice job redrawing his sprite in this version, I think. guys are a little tricky, but Topspin takes them out easily. Yeah, between the Shadow Blade and the Topspin, they can pretty much take out almost anything that gets in the way. And here we have these needle presses. Unlike most spikes, they're not one-hit kills, although the timing's a little off in the Genesis version here. Tough place to get. I usually just use Search Snake. Easy Energy Tank and Rush Coil. Jeez. And just notice, too, the Hammer Joes are even dwarfed by Mega Man. They're supposed to be much bigger and bulkier. Speaking of which, we got this guy. This game's big, I want to be. Try to slide under it, because you can only hurt it when it's jumpy. And we're at the end already. It's actually a pretty short level. Okay, so Needle Man can be pretty tough if you don't have the Gemini Laser. Oh my god, it moves slowly in this version. Wow. Yeah, the Gemini Laser is... It's, it's a really strong weapon. But, boy, it moves a lot slower in this version than it does in the NES game. So, you better hope you don't miss. And from him we get the Needle Cannon. And better yet, we got the Rush Jet. The Needle Cannon's an okay weapon, though. So next, we're done with that secondary boss loop that I talked about, so might as well go back to the first one, which next would be Spark Man. I rather like the flashing lights along the well, along the walls and such. The NES game. They're a lot more muted in this version. You can't destroy those those uh, electric gabions. You just have to wait for their barrier to go down and walk by. gimmick of this level is these rising platforms. Whoa. <laughs> I was expecting them to move up slower, but which they started moving slowly and then they just rocketed up.
God, Mega Man had to be dizzy after all that. Fast enough to just slide right by those. Now here's the tricky part of the stage. Get out of here. This is why I like having Rush Jet at this point. And boy is Rush Jet broken in Mega Man 3. You can pretty much fly anywhere, in any direction you want. It's pretty easy to see why he was nerfed in later games. Now normally, Sparkman's weak to the Shadow Blade, but... Let's see how the Needle Cam works. Oh, really, it only does one damage. Is it, is it just doing one damage? I think it is. Yeah. It's a bit more effective on him in the NES game. To the point where, what are you doing? Never seen him do that before. There we go. Okay, so from him we get the Spark Shock, which everyone gives, like I said before, everybody gives the top spin crap over being a, a bad weapon. The Spark Shock is a million times worse. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt enemies, it just stuns them for a few seconds, which might be useful, but eh, I'll show you in the next level. Next is Magnet Man. mess up your jumps here. Although, oh, okay, I was gonna say, I was gonna say I could just let him pick me up and carry me, but I wasn't gonna let that happen. And now we have to fight Proto Midget again. So I, ra I rather like the Needle Cannon since it pretty much has full auto if you hold the button down. It's not a super powerful weapon either. There we go. Now we have big springers. Bigger versions of the guys from Mega Man 2. Okay, let me... Yeah, that's what the Spark Shock does. All it does is stun him. But it'll still hurt me if I try to if I try to go by him, so I just have to wait until it wears off anyways, because you can't switch weapons while it's in effect. So for the most part, pretty useless. As is the Gemini laser in this version. And more fun with these things. Oh, what are you doing there? <laughs> Spazzing out. And we have rush jets, so we might as well just say screw it. And now Rush Jet will only use energy if you're actually standing on it, so you can actually just keep jumping on it, too. And... And it'll use a lot less energy that way.
Spark Shock only deals direct damage to bosses, which Magnet Man happens to be weak against. Magnet Man's pretty simple. He has an easy pattern. Of course, the Spark Shock just wrecks him. And we now get the Magnet Missile. Fairly useful weapon. It's a... It's a homing missile, so it's pretty nice. If it didn't use up so much weapon energy, that is. And I think... I think it's a bit slower in this version, too, if I recall correctly. Which makes it... a lot less useful. All we have left is Hard Man. Sadly, the butt of a lot of jokes. Oh god, bees. Not the bees. Yeah, screw the bees. You don't want to stay on those green plates at all, or those bear trap things that pop out. guy with down here. There we go. There we go. He kind of forces you to use Russian oil there. So if you didn't know about it, as if you didn't read the manual, you don't know what to do. Pretty much the only place where it tells you about the actual plot of this game, as well as about Rush. They don't say a thing about Proto Man, though. Which, so it still le leaves you scratching your head a little bit as to who he is, at least, at least for a little while, anyway. Those monkeys are a pain if you get close to him, by the way. They'll drop down, they'll get in your face, and just, just mess you up. So I try to use a weapon that can get upward. An easy energy tank. And Proto Midget comes back one more time. This room makes him a little harder to hit. Easier to get hit. About the only thing the Spark Shock is useful for outside of boss fights is to just freeze him in mid jump. Things easier to walk under. And now Hard Man. He should be, well, I was gonna say he should be pretty easy with the Magnet missiles, but in this version. The missiles seem to want to chase after his his hard knuckles, so I guess I can't shoot them while he's on oh, crap. That's not good. Yeah, look at that. He's a lot easier in the NES game. Yeah. The 
The magnet missiles kind of suck in this version. From him we get the hard knuckle. It's a pretty powerful weapon, but really slow to get started. Okay, so... Oh, they just go right to it then, huh? No, uh... No little animation with it, uh... Breaking the remaining... Windows there. So yeah, rather than... Going to Wily's Fortress, we got the these four levels open back up again, and we got a new boss to face. And we'll do that next time. See you then. I'm playing a game.